so this year has been a lot different compared to last year during this time um, it's springtime now and for whatever reason uh, there could be a number of reasons I pretty much talked a little bit about it in the previous video I thought the green water was gonna clear up on its own but it's been a while and uh, doesn't seem to be improving of course this pond is only about six months old uh, six seven months old so the bio hasn't fully established and I'm okay with it um, I think it really is just a matter of time uh, even so there's really not much I can do even with the water change it still comes back right away so it doesn't help that much um, um, and one of the main issues is actually not being able to see the fish you know you can't really see if there's something going on with them even if the water parameters test fine like for example in this pond I got um, eight drops of uh, the KH so that's well over a hundred degrees of KH so there's a lot of car uh, calcium carbonate in here it's not a, may, uh, a problem at all it's just a matter of time I guess and also perhaps I got a lot of plants in the planters and all the soil it probably contributed to um, giving this water a lot more phosphorus and a uh, nutrient for the algae to grow so that's partially to blame but my main concern is actually this little pond over here so this thing is over two years old and uh, by now it should be clear understandably I added a bunch of tiny little baby fish when we came out of winter because of all the koi show that I've attended um, even so with with this much filtration and water flowing I I thought this pond would be much much clearer than what it is right now I did a little test on the KH value of this pond it's a little bit low so I'm actually loading it with baking soda from Costco right here uh, this is a simple arm and hammer baking soda the reason why is because when you have low KH or calcium carbonate the bacteria isn't going to be as great at breaking down the ammonia as it would be um, with the weather warming up it's good to have a lot of KH so the bacteria works best so I'm going to start loading up on, the, uh, on, uh, on baking soda into this pond right here but um, I'm going to probably have to brute force it so what I'm going to do is drop this 55 watt UV sterilizer inside the drum filter and I'm gonna do that right now because you know it's this time of the year the weather's nice you want to be able to come out here and take a look and see what's going on with the fish especially with all the little baby fish I got so I'm gonna kill out kill out the algae and uh, put baking soda in let the bio do its work and we should be able to clear this up hopefully within a week now right, I'm gonna set this aside Let me put my trusty little tripod down. Oh, it's standing against the sun. That's not a good. That's not a good position. But yeah, look at this. Take a closer look. Look how green that is. Great job. I know they're 
some water on the clean side. So we want to avoid so we want to avoid the, the shaft of the motor. Yeah, it's kind of difficult to see, but uh, the UV light is activated down there, so this is what it looks like. You see, it, it kind of shines down there. Difficult to see, but uh, with the naked eye, you can see that it's lit up, so uh, we're going to wait and see how long it takes to clear up the UV. I'm going to clear up the algae. If not, I'll use a different light, but I'm going to try this one out first. So uh, today is um, Thursday. Every few days I'm going to keep an update, see how this goes. But look how nasty. Well, actually, this green water is um, its not bad. It's, it's very well uh, circulated. So the, the algae is not like a nasty green al uh, string algae. It's just thin algae, but there's just so much of it. All right, so we're gonna close the lid now and uh, just let it do its thing. The profit drum, the mesh is still very clean, so I don't even have to clean it. It's doing a great job. This is one of the best investments you can make in a koi pond right here, getting one of these drum filters. All right, I'm gonna put this back on. It's just a matter of a waiting game. We'll see how well this works in the next few days. <laughs> 